Grace and peace, everyone. I am Pastor Trish, and welcome again to another Motivational Monday moment. I get so excited because this is when I can take a moment, and together we can share the Word of God. So you know the deal. Get your Bible, get your iPhone, your smartphone, your iPad, and let's get at the Word. So today, our scripture, we are still in Psalms 23, verses 2, and the first part of verse 3. And it says, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. In the first part of verse 3, he restoreth my soul. We're going to just pause right there. Our theme today is your season of restoration. Who get excited? Type that in the comments. Your season of restoration. When we allow God to be our shepherd to guide us, we have the promise that he will guide us. He will protect and keep us. When we choose to go astray, we cannot blame God for the environment that we create for ourselves. Let's just be clear on that point. So God knows the green pastures and the still waters will restore us, hallelujah, and we will experience this restoration if we are obedient. Both represents water and food, two essential components without which our natural bodies, these natural bodies, could not survive for any significant length of time. What happens in the physical is always a manifestation of what is happening in the spiritual. To lie down means to be at rest, a place of security and peace, of assurance and protection and care. To lie down in green pastures is then to rest in the word, hallelujah, our place of nourishment and leads me, meaning he goes ahead of me, hallelujah, he guides and he's teaching me. Still waters, a place of peace that passes all understanding. I have been impressed to speak restoration over your life this week. This is your season of restoration. And I'm talking to someone today. Webster's dix definition means the action of returning something to a former owner. The biblical definition is to receive back more than what has been lost to the point where the final state is greater than the original condition. Hallelujah. I need to pause right there and give him a praise. Give him a greater praise. Hallelujah. That is greater. Hallelujah. Than the original condition. Someone or something that is improved beyond measure. Don't you love God? Don't you love his word? Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but by faith, I am giving God praise right now for restoration. Restoration in our ministry. Restoration in our family restoration in our finances, restoration even in our faith and in our joy. Because of COVID, let's be clear, some have lost their joy and their excitement about this journey in Christ. I'm here today to tell you, ah, you need to get your joy back. COVID, hallelujah, did not take you out. The word of God says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Give God a praise for the joy of the Lord. Listen, I'm praising God for my restoration season, the promise of restoration. The word of God says, I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. This is Jeremiah 30 and 17, the NIV version. Restoration also means to refresh, to renew, to renovate. Hallelujah. Some of us are under renovation. Hallelujah. God is the master restorer. You know, you have a master plumber, you know, and a master person who can do drywall and all of this, but God is the master restorer. I love me some Jesus. Hallelujah. So get excited. You see that I am excited about my restoration season. Many of us have gone through some intense life-changing and tough situations in this past year and almost a year and a half. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic and the protests and the social unrest and failing economic system, we may have lost some loved ones, some friends. We may have had to change, hallelujah, jobs. But guess what? 
we are still here. We may have had to make some critical adjustments and now we have established a new normal. But guess what? I am still here and I'm still going to give God some praise. So let's look at Job. Job was wealthy and upright in character and he loved God. Yet God allowed Satan to test him. And what happened? His children were killed. All of his possessions were destroyed. His, his flock was destroyed and even his health was failing. Even his friends and his wife, who was supposed to be the closest person to him, tells him the M, you need to curse God and die. But in Job chapter 26, verse 4, it says, all the while my breath is in me and the spirit of God is in my nostrils. My lips shall not speak wickedness, nor my trouble, nor my tongue utter deceit. Job was restored twice as much as he had before. Woo, hallelujah. This is your restoration season. I'm speaking a double anointing on everyone, a double restoration. I need you by faith to believe God. So put that in the comments. I believe God that this is my restoration season. As I love to end, be prayerful, be positive, be purposed and walk in your restoration season. God bless.